Um, today's vlog is going to be, um, haven't actually thought of the title, uh, YKTR's comprehensive guide to one-liners and Aussie lingo to keep your friends at bay. Roll the intro. Okay, so um, welcome back to the vlogs. Thought I'd sort of take a lighter note on today's vlog. Been sort of getting serious and deep lately, so I thought I'd lighten it up. So today's YKTR's comprehensive guide to one-liners and Aussie lingo. So when I first come to Australia, I didn't really get the lingo. Um, you guys speak a different language over here till we do over in New Zealand. So um, picked it up pretty quick. Obviously hang around footy players and the boys. All you do is talk absolute <laughs> So, um... So an example of this, of like Aussie lingo, like when I first come here, they were like, oh, how's your rocky boulder? And they're like, I was like, what's that? It's like your shoulder. I was like, why, why do you call it a rocky boulder? You know, because it rhymes with shoulder. So sort of picked this up pretty quick and um, really enjoy it. So it's a bit of fun on the, when you're having a few beers with the boys and you get to spray the boys, which is always fun, as long as you're not on the receiving end of it. So today's uh, guide to that. Um, so an example of this would be, um, it was a beautiful Jason day, head down to the Tyrone Peach, the beach, had a bit of an optic nerve, a perv. So I seen this blue healer, a Sheila, and I asked if she was Blake Green, Keen, and she said yes. So I looked on her Instagram and found out she was a vegan, Campbell Gillard. Uh, we got to hanging out, turns out she was a bit of a Jared Hayne, a pain, and the two of us a sheck, the neck. So I come to the conclusion that she was a bit of a Cooper Cronk, a Gronk. So I was hanging with Isaac the Goys, the boys, we jumped in the Northern Pride, my ride. There was only a couple Harry Styles, miles up the cane and toad, the road. So we looked for a Michael Clark, a park, outside the Charlie Gubb, a pub, walk in, have a few Britney Spears, a beers, jump on the Benny Hunt, the punt. We'll lose a bit of Manuka honey, money, but we'd get a few Peter wins. Um, it's end of the Liam night, off for a Jack Reed, a feed at the Brad Tackers, the Mackers. So this is the sort of lingo you got to pick up and, and um, obviously off the back of that sort of comes one liners. So obviously if you're a bloke and you enjoy a beer and being around the boys, obviously Saturdays are for the boys. So you get down to the pub and the banter starts flowing and I like a lot of one liners. So there's always like, no matter what crew you win, there's always, there's always like the tight one, um, the loose one, the one that can't get girls, etc. So, I'll give you a little background story. So we've got a real good friend of ours called Blake Larry. Um, actually, when we started at YKTR, he actually thought he was in it. And he goes, um, he goes, yeah, let's go get some t-shirts made, blah, blah, blah. And Corey ends up going like, Blake, you're not even in it. <laughs> so, so we call him like the 18th man of YKTR. So like, if me, Corey or Chico go down with a hammy and warm up, He'd be the next guy that comes in. But when he first came to Sydney, like um, he was sort of struggling to pull women. So we used to say that like um, he couldn't pull an anorexic girl in a tug of war. The diamond, a girl's best friend, Mortine, the female repellent, uh, 24 hour gym because he couldn't close. Other ones would be, we used to call them the bye weekend. These are sort of the footy related ones. We used to call them like the bye weekend because he had no game. Um, call him nil or because he couldn't score. If you want to get really ruthless and go straight for the throat, you'd be like, oh, you remind me of your mum's legs, they can't close. And then there's always that guy in the crew who's always tight with money. So obviously the obvious ones are like tighter than two coats of paint. Um, you've got mouse traps in your pocket. Your nickname's Cramp because that's how tight you are. Uh, call you Whispers because you never shout. Whenever there's, say, whenever you're walking through like a construction site and there's dust or moths floating about, oh, did you open your wallet? Or oh, Chico, did you open your wallet? He's, you're so tight when you fart, only dolls can hear it. So, and then there's always that one person in your crew who likes to carry on a bit. So, you got, so you go, oi, Corey, you've got more carry on than a jumbo jet. See, Corey, they wouldn't let him on the plane once because he had more than seven kgs of carry on. Oh, you get three weeks for that, grade two carry on. Because on my half, used to love having banter with the props in that. My aunt, so if you're stuck, stuck in traffic and you're moving slow and your props driving, we're moving slower than your line speed. Oh, whenever your car's in reverse, so your car's in reverse and it's beeping, and beep, beep, beep. And you got a forwarding car, go, oh, you're taking head ups again, getting put in reverse. Oh, there's always that one guy in the crew who can't handle the jokes. You call him a knock-on because he can't handle it. One's like 40, 20, 
a guy who looks like who looks 40 but he's actually 20. If you're that guy in the crew who can sort of get things done and get places, what you got to do is when you're walking around, you go, hey, boy, they call me the tampon thief around here. And they'll go, why is that? And you go, oh, because I can pull a few strings. Go to the bar, come back, oh, they're giving me a Nate Miles. And they'll be like, what's that? Nah, it's got a big head on it. <laughs> sort of um, likes to repeat jokes, go recycling recycling's good for the earth or there's nothing wrong with a repeat set, you just roll it in and start again. But I'll be like, I'm like a bad haircut, I'll grow on ya. Or you be like, yeah, they call me stats, cause stats don't lie. Talk to a girl and a girl brushes you, go, oh, they call me life, cause you only get one shot at it and walk off. Oh, this is a good one. This is on the field. So you go, like, if your prop's been getting dominated the whole game, getting put on his back, and can't get your quick play, well, you go, pull him to the side, you go, oh, you've spent more time on your back than your mum in the 80s. Oh, either three things are going to happen. One, you might get punched in the face, which is fair enough. Uh, two, he might threaten to punch you in the face, but if he does, all you go is, I'll happily cop a punch in the face if you can get me a quick play of the ball. Or three, watch him come off the back fence the next carry. So, um, I, know I know I missed a few. Um, those are some of the ones you've heard before. Those are some of the ones we've sort of made up around our crew. Um, let me know in the comments below which runs I've missed, or what your favourite one-liner is, so I can add it to my arsenal, so I can spray the boys next time we're, we're having a good time. Um, make sure you follow me on my Instagram here, and you follow YKTR. Thanks for watching. Nice. For this life I cannot change, in the hills.